Smurfy greetings YouTubers, it is I, Hell Gear. Welcome back to Smurfs Village. Before I get into today's episode, I want to throw out this wonderful little thing. There's a Halloween contest going on and you have until Halloween to enter. For more details, check out the Smurfs Village forums. And as you guys know, I link to all of that wonderfulness in the description below. And I want to wish all of you who are entering the best of luck. Without further ado, let's get on with today's episode. Saturday was rather packed, so we're here on Monday. And as some of you will already know, we got the Tracker Smurf event from Monday to Wednesday. We won't be hearing too much of that particular song since winter will be around the corner. It'll go back to old Christmas Smurf. Or at least that's what I'm hoping. So, I want to talk about this thing right here. This wonderful little bag. Because, uh... In the previous episode, the biggest problem I had is the same problem I've had for a long time, and that is space for wonders, and wonders taking up so much space. So this wonderful bag that Homnibus gives us stores wonders. Okay then, upgrade your wonder storage to store twice as many wonders. So, that's what it looks like, and I guess you just place them in here. Alright, well, let's take a look at some wonders. I guess I'm going to have to use the moving option for this. Oh yeah, when you use the moving option, the bag is just open, wide open. All right. Now, as you guys saw, when you place a wonder over the bag, you'll get that wonderful little orange button that has a down arrow. That's letting you know that uh, you can put said uh, yeah, go back from that. Matter of fact, we probably don't even have to do all that. Just press the button. There we go. That's the festive pudding. Now, here's the thing. At base, the Wonder Storage Bag can hold, from what I was told, 15 Wonders. So I don't want to put in too many wonders. Because there's still stuff that I have to take care of. I'm going to leave that one alone. I will store that one. Okay. That's all for now. A lot of this stuff is going to end up being stored anyway. Smurfy! Happy Smurfoween! Happy Smurfoween! Okay, that's how it's said in Smurfsville. Smurfoween! Ha ha ha! 
Ah, uh, the Smurfamisms, man. If I've ever, if I see even one more snow smurf in the village this winter. Hey, what's wrong with the snow smurfs? I got some on my mountain. Yeah, it was fun having all of those contests to see who could make the best one, but the thought of seeing another snowy version of myself leaves me cold. Wah, 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 wah. That was supposed to be a joke. <laughs> well, seeing a snowy version should, shouldn't leave you cold. It should make you... Uh, Oh crap, I forgot. Man, I, I messed up the punchline. Forget it. Now, you're not smurfing about the temperature, even if it is 10 smurfs below freezing smurf. Who is freezing smurf? This, I don't even know who freezing smurf is. The coldest smurf I know of is chili smurf. And poor chili, he just doesn't get a break. Sip my water there. Even though in Smurf's Epic Run, he gives you extra experience when he runs. I haven't smurfed my toes in a week. I even have icicles growing out of my nose. Uh, you need to get in some in, the, in a hot bath, dude. Frostbite is terrible. Why, my little Smurfs? Where's that Smurfy spirit? You're smurfing in a winter wonderland. That's just it, Papa. After six straight weeks of snow, even Winter Wonderland start looking a little less wonderful. He ain't lying there. Everybody on the east coast of the United States knows about that one. I want to say that's Vanity Smurf. My lord. Um, how does Vanity Smurf sound in, in the cartoons? Oh, jeez, I can't do Vanity's voice. <laughs> Crap. Yeah, I, I can't do Vanity's voice. I, I'll try that again. I gotta watch another episode of Smurfs with Vanity. Speaking of which, the Smurfs YouTube channel posted up their Halloween special again. So check that out on their Smurfs YouTube channel. He's right, Papa. I'm tired of having to get bundled up in three layers of clothes and hiding my trim physique. Jeez, if anybody's gonna hot, worry about hiding their trim physique, it would be hefty, not Vanity. I'm tired of shoveling snow. I have all sorts of calluses on my pretty blue hands. Winter isn't all about being cold and shoveling snow, you know. There's also smurf boarding, tobogganing, smurfy snow fuzz. Yes, yeah, smurf boarding. We love smurf boarding. The only thing you can do in the winter or, or <laughs> all year round. Yeah, Jokey sure likes all those snow fights. More like snow ambushes. He's always hiding under some tree or other in the pounds. Just like that mean old cat Azrael, only without the gorgeous shade of burnished, of burnished orange fur. Wait, does Azrael's fur change color in the winter? Is he one of those types of cats? It's true, Jokey's having way more fun than any of us. He'd smurf snowballs all day if he could. I guess what everyone's trying to smurf, Papa, is that we're all sort of done with the fluffy white stuff. <laughs> the salt is real. And I miss all the flowers, walking on the soft green grass and hearing the birds sing. Yeah, but at least you get to see the rabbits. Maybe those birds are just a little too cold and hungry these days to smurf like singing. Hmm, I'm beginning to smurf what you mean, my little smurfs. This winter has been a rather long one. What's worse, Papa Smurf, is that it's showing no sign of smurfing away anytime soon. Well, as I always say, when the smurfing gets tough, the smurfs get smurfing. I just had a smurftastic idea. Well, I hope you're not going to ask us to shovel any more snow. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Smurfette. You might have to do a wee bit of shoveling for your raw material, but you're going to be building. Not another snow hut, please, Papa. It's something far more exciting. With all the snow we have, we could build a giant. Instead, we're going to build a giant snowman. Uh, why does this take me back to the mountain's wonders? What a smurfy plan, Papa. A snowman is so much fun to smurf. We can get a carrot from his no for his nose from Farmer Smurf. Um, okay. I don't think they grow carrots that big. 
and cold for his eyes and mouth from minor smurf. That you can get. And Vanity, you must have an old scarf and hat we can use. And I'll smurf the branches for his arms. Oh, Pop, I can't wait. Time to get smurfy. Ah, uh, the giant snow smurf. I'm just glad I have money to do all this. Good, and it's not on the sand either. Ugh. Why the long faces, my little Smurfs? You should all be Smurfing outside in the snow. I think we might have a case of the winter blues, Papa. Mm. Yeah, those are bad. I want to say that's jokey, but I'm not sure. If it's confirmed to be jokey, I'll try to do his voice. Can't you see? It's written all over their faces. Tee -hee. Oh, yeah, I was right. It was jokey. Okay. It's no laughing matter, jokey. Blue skin has nothing to do with feeling blue. Oh, Jesus. Can I try to do June Foray, the late June Foray's jokey smurf voice? Or am I going to do uh, Old Boy from the Lost Village? I can do Old Boy from the Lost Village. Yuck, 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 yuck. You're right, Papa. Maybe I should go smurf some gifts for everyone. The non-exploding kind, of course. Now that joke is out of the way. It's time to get serious. What can I smurf to make my little smurfs feel smurfy again? We're so happy to see the snow at first, Papa, but that we are so... There, there are so many icy patches around the village. We're slipping and falling everywhere we go. In fact, I'm bruised from head to toe. Oh, that reminds me of that Animaniac song. We're slipping on the ice. We're sliding on the ice. Thank goodness we don't get stuff like that on the, in the West. Everyone's staying in their huts getting hut fever. Winter has never been, le has never been less fun. Yeah, I can relate. Even in the West, winter sucks. Only good thing open in winter is Disneyland. That's why I like to hit up the, uh, the conventions and gaming shows. I'm feeling so sluggish and tired because I'm getting no exercise. I just want to sleep all day. Join Lazy's Boat. And maybe we're eating a Smurf too much of Baker Smurf's treats too. Hey, don't be ripping on the treats, man. Enjoy eating the treats. When you can't go outside, there's really nothing left to smurf but sleep and eat. I, I, I gotta remember, they don't have TV. My smurfness, this won't do it all. We need happy and healthy smurfs in our village. Ooh, Papa, I'm tired, of, tired all the time, too. And I'm not fitting in any of my dresses. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, Lord. Uh, when Smurfette's not fitting into any of her dresses, that's a problem. Too many treats and not enough exercise. It's clear what the problem is. And here comes the work. But how can we exercise if we, bar we can barely take a step outside without slipping and falling? Let me guess, a skating ring? Well, Papa has thought of a way to put the Smurf back in his Smurfs. Ooh, Pop, are you going to use some of your Smurfy magic? No need for that, Smurfette. We're simply going to build a skating rink on the village pond. <laughs> More wonders. Ooh, a skating rink. I can't wait. Skating is exactly the sort of exercise for you young Smurfs need to chase away the blues. It'll also help improve our balance so we can walk on the ice or around the village without falling. That's true. I hadn't thought of that. That's some smurfy thinking. He's right. We'll all feel much more confident in the ice once we have a safe place to practice our steps. Let's get smurfing. Alrighty then. Let's go build the skating rink in the village pond. Where exactly in the cartoons was the village pond anyway? Collect some more of this nice experience. Uh, let's take only half of those. All right, in fact, we have to play Handy's game, so let's take a quick break between busting out wonders and do Handy's game. Every 
every time when I have to do Handy's game for Tracker Smurfs event, I always bust open the three pegs. And to the folks out there, on to the next peg, who are having troubles knowing exactly when to time their taps of the hammer, one of the things that I like to do is wait until the red meter gets just underneath the arm on the icon. Usually when I tap it like that after meeting this, it's either going to be completely filled up or almost filled up, which is your ideal hammering strike. Got a rack of experience, gotta love that. Now let's do Papa's game too. Guess this is all about giving us pointers on points for uh, Tracker Smurf. This game is always going to be an interesting little piece. My best advice to everybody, first and foremost, sorry that it's sideways. This is, this is one of those games that will always be sideways. My best advice to give to all of you doing these potions, trying to get experience for the Papa Smurf event, is to try to hit the blue potions. Doing the blue potion right enough can get you a decent amount of experience, even when you have to get that big butt ton. Come on, this is the last stage. Smurf, you're back into it. Come on, get me into that blue. Oh, that was perfect, actually. Very nice. That was very nice. Munchie singing in the background. Now let's take a look at the inventory. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six wonders stored in the bag. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, good. I get to do Miner's Game. Well, let's put this skating rink down. <laughs> My Smurfness, what an adventure we had in the forest this morning. Sure was Smurfy. Maybe Dreamy's got the right idea of always smurfing these rainbows. Poor Dreamy. I don't know how many times Papa's told him life's not all rainbows and unicorns. That's true. And yet, there we are on our usual forest, and a rainbow suddenly appears. And not just any rainbow, a rainbow waterfall. I can't believe we never smurfed it before. Okay, I'll give them this. This is one, actually one of the cooler wonders. We were all laughing and smurfing so much, nobody smurfed we had gone completely off trail. So many roots and rocks. I can't believe we didn't smurf. We were on the wrong path. Well, not until Clumsy Sumbly went flying and smurfed on top of that poor little squirrel. Did you see the look on his face after he tripped? For a moment, he thought he was on top of Azrael. Well, it was one very orange squirrel. I can't wait to get back to the village and tell Papa about this waterfall. 
da, 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 da. we'll imagine that they got their Smurf staffs back to Papa. Sounds like a very lucky find indeed, my little Smurfs. I'm sure all the other little Smurfs will want to see it too. It's not very far from the village, Papa. You just have to know where you're Smurfing. The path leading to the waterfall is a bit tricky. We might want to clear away the roots and rocks first. That's a Smurfy plan. Let's get Smurfing. I'll be honest with you, this this waterfall, I would have liked to see in the grove. You know what? I'm going to put this one by the beach. Because all water leads to the ocean. I can put it right there. All right, let's let's do some storing first. Store that. This is Homnibus's house. Uh, we'll leave that there. We'll store that. The rainbow fountain I would have liked to see on the mountain, though. Smurf for your thoughts, Papa? Oh, my Smurfness, you startled me, Smurfette. Is everything okay? Oh, it's nothing, really. I was just thinking about Grandpa. Is Grandpa okay, Papa? Well, lately it seems... It just seems that some of the Smurf has gone. It's a step. Yeah. That's what, that's what arthritis does to you, Papa. I've noticed that too. He's not quite as spry as he usually is. Yeah, it's called old age, Smurfette. And he looks so wistful watching the Smurflings play. Maybe he just feels old. <laughs> Again, old age, Papa. Maybe he just needs a little Smurf me up. Something to let him know how important he is to us. That's just what I was thinking. With Father's Day coming up. And Grandpa's always telling us you're like a Sunday in Papa. Should be. <laughs> oh, that's right. The Rainbow Fountain. Wasn't the Rainbow Fountain part of that update? Or was it part of the Mother's Day update? I think it was part of the Mother's Day update. That means a lot to me, Smurfette. I'm so lucky to have someone as wise as Grandpa to guide me. Yeah, when Palador wasn't guiding you. I think Grandpa knows how you feel, Papa. But I never told him. Father's Day might be the perfect time to do something special for him. Do something special for who, Papa? Go tell the others to come here like a good little smurf and you'll find out. Everyone's here, Papa. Now can you tell us about that special something? I've just been telling Smurfette that we should celebrate dear Grandpa this Father's Day. Said Papa's not sure how, yet how to show Grandpa how much he's smurfed and appreciated. Well, you can never go wrong with a Smurfy cake. Or how about a card from all of us? We could get the Smurflings to Smurf pictures on it to make it extra special. A card and a cake would be just Smurfy. What do you think, Papa? Smurf absolutely. But I've Smurfed yet another way to celebrate Grandpa. A special Father's Day monument. All right, now we know what this one is. This is the one where it's got him, Smurf, and Papa Smurf, and the Smurflings on it. Uh. This was actually one of the cooler looking um, wonders at the time, but it just, it's not, it's a cool looking wonder when you finish it, but it's not something I would personally like to put in the main village. It'd be the perfect tribute to Grandpa, the father of all that Smurfy wisdom down through the ages. Well, lately it just seems that some of the Smurf has gone out of his step. Let's get Smurfy. So yeah, it's that one. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's right, baby Smurfs at the top. 
So yeah, we got Baby Smurf at the top. The Smurfling, Smurfette, Popling, Grandpa. Like I said, this is one of the cooler looking ones, but I think I'm not going to place this. He, well, I'm not going to keep this. I have to place it. Otherwise, um, uh, you know what? Let's put this one down. I can't put that there, though. Start planning ahead. This is for the Smurf City update. All right, let's check the bag. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight wonders. And again, at base, you can only store 15. That's the airplane. This is the festive tree. I think I'll store that. And move this here. Alright. I'm going to post the Smurfy Generations Wonder in another time. And I'm really actually going to need, um, I'm going to need another one of these storage bags here on the mountain. Because this is like Wonder City. But I think I'll play one more game before calling this an episode. Now the reason I'm here on the mountain is to get some more stardust. But from what the forums are saying... The next update is going to be on the mountain. 50 stone. I will take that. So we'll be back to Smurf Mountain with some fairy stuff. It looks like fairy tale stuff. And I say that because one of the silhouettes that they've shown was a Smurf rocking pixie wings. Tap on my sheet. If you guys have enjoyed yourselves, remember to show your love and hit the like button. Thanks for watching. Thanks for every like and favorite. Comment and share and subscribe to the channel. More Smurfs Village is on its way, so be sure to subscribe and turn on those mobile notes. So when it's time to build our villages, you'll be ready to go alongside myself, and I appreciate you being here every step of the way. But for now, I take my goose from the oven because I'm done. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.